Okay, so this is the new power distribution board. It has four fewer 30 amp breaker slots, which contributes it to it being smaller. It is also narrower in the width than it was previously. You have two breakers here, one for the Rio and the other one for the uh, solenoid control, which also controls the compressor. The microchips here report current and voltage back to the Rio over CAN bus. Okay, so this is the new solenoid control module. Connects over CAN bus to the Rio. You, it gets 12 volts from the power distribution board and you can select it for either 12 or 24 volt solenoids using this jumper here. It's currently in the 12 volt configuration and if we swap it over it'll be in the 24. You can control up to eight solenoids this way. To control a compressor, you put the compressor in, powered into this set and you hook the pressure switch into these. You no longer have to program the Rio to control the compressor. This module does it automatically. If you need more than eight solenoids, we don't know what will happen yet as we don't know if you can change the CAN address on this or not. This is a 12 and 5 volt power supply for, for any equipment you may have, such as the cameras. You have two 2 amps, one for the 12 volt, one for the 5 amp, and a uh, 500 milliamp for each of these as well. These connectors on both of these are much easier to use than previously. You just push the wire in, it, it will lock in. In order to release it, you have to push these down and then just pull, while pushing it down, just pull the wires right out. Nice and easy to deal with. This is the new Rio. For initially connecting to it, you can talk over this USB port here. It shows up as an Ethernet port in your computer. These USB ports you can use for a few things and it's mainly going to be for connecting up your new radio. We'll get to that in a little bit. You can also hook other things up to it as well. This Ethernet port is uh, presumably for now just for hooking it up to your cameras and for tethering it. This is your SPI port, PWM, DIO, analogs here, and you have your Allen Bradley light here. This we currently do not know, but it appears to be just a 5 and 3.3 volt power supply offhand. CAN bus connects to here. On most things, they are color coded. And this is your multi use connector, which we do not have a pinout for yet. Let's see. You have status LEDs here and some control buttons here, such as reset and something labeled user, which we don't quite know what it does yet. Now for the new radio, it's this thing. More specifically this. In the picture. It's an Asus Wi-Fi adapter, part number USB N53. It's supposed to be good for 300 megabits. Uh, transfer rates, so it looks like we'll be looking at an increased speed bump in a few or er, in two seasons. Now, since this is nice and small, you can uh, hopefully mount it just about anywhere on the robot, so long as it still has connection to the field. So for for everything for 2015, it looks like everything's going to be smaller, lighter, a bit more powerful, with the exception of the power distribution board in the removal of two 30 amp breakers, or sorry, four 30 amp breakers, and a bit more on error reporting and diagnostics for us to be able to use.